Howdy y'all and welcome back. Super short gear review today. We're looking at the LA Police Gear Low Viz Vest and their single curve level three ceramic plates. So this combination is probably, well, it is, I'll say, the most affordable or the least expensive set of plates and a carrier that I would maybe trust my life to if I had to. So I ended up settling on these back in 2020 when things were getting kind of odd in the country and I was looking for a cheap set of plates but I didn't want pure garbage either and I stumbled across Mr. Guns and Gears review of these plates and I will link that in the description of this video. They definitely punch above their weight class uh, at like, well, when he filmed them, they were like 95 bucks a piece or something. They're currently running uh, 120 a piece, so you'd be looking at 240 for the set and like 80 bucks for the carrier that I'm wearing. So that is not a whole lot of money for something that might maybe save your life if it had to. Are they the most high-speed operator quality? Like, no, no, <laughs> that, I'm not trying to tell you that. These are. If you're on a serious budget and think maybe, probably not, but maybe someday you might be in a situation where you wanted a set of plates on. So, you know, this is not a recommendation for if you are going down range or if you're a SWAT guy. Or any, and surely you haven't come looking to me for answers for that. But anyway, <laughs> so... The idea behind the low viz carrier would be something like I have on now. So, and this is a fairly fitted jacket. I'm 5'11, 170 pounds for scale or whatever. Am I pulling this off? Not really. But from a distance, maybe you would just think I was kind of fat or something. So, obviously, from this angle is where I'm really giving away that, yeah, I've got some plates back there but I could mask that or kind of camouflage that with a book bag or something if you're trying to be gray man walking through the zombie apocalypse with your plate carrier on under a vest I don't know but let's take a look at what it actually looks like and the main kind of feature that I dig about this again this is not your going down range to fight ISIS vest or anything like that but as a step up from like soft body armor, I think maybe there's like some viability to it. And especially with this design. So you've got some like laser cut molly and you could attach stuff and whatever. To me where this carrier shines is not doing that. So they give you a couple of mag pouch deals in your elastic cummerbund. And so like here I've got one there's what it looks like with two. And I think that's a very cool feature of this plate carrier. So you can snag your mag if you need to. It's right there and yet it's not protruding even farther out this way. So in the spirit of being low vis, right? So let's take this over to the table and get a quick look at it up close. All right, so let's jump into the plate itself. We're just about three quarters of an inch thick and a hair over five pounds. And again, this is single curve, meaning it curves that way, but not that way. And the construction all seems pretty on point. I'm pretty sure these are made in China, but again, for the price point we're talking about, they're a pretty darn good value. And mostly for these, I'm gonna defer again to that Mr. Guns and Gear video. If you're too pressed for time to watch that, uh, short answer is in his testing, it stopped a green tip out of a 16 inch barrel. That's probably all you could ask for a plate at that price point. It did also stop a uh, 30 out six black tip, which is like, uh, you know, not even remotely what this is rated for, but anyway, the, there are several gun tubers have done tests on these. So go search around and find out for yourself, see what you think. 
Getting to the carrier itself, it's 500D nylon and hypalon or hippalon, however you say it, uh, straps, lots of adjustability in the straps. I have them pulled in pretty tight for my frame. And you've got your Velcro cummerbund across the front like so. And on the back, on both sides, you've got, I hesitate to even call this padding. It's, it does have a breathable mesh material and like the tiniest amount of padding, sort of, it's barely padding. And as far as inserting the plates, you don't have any like extra straps or anything to hold your plate in. You just drop them in like so tuck the flap in and tighten it down and they do lock in there pretty decently tight they don't they don't once you've got it all on you the plates don't shift around very much so and this is a uh, what, like a 10 by 12 plate it's actually slightly under that but you get the idea uh, for adjustability turning it over here You can open these up and they will go quite a bit wider. You could probably get away with something like that on either side. So I don't know what the total circumference that these will hold. If you're a large human being, you might want to contact LAPG and find out. They may have like an exact measurement of circumference that it would uh, fit or not fit. But it is pretty elasticized so I think you've got a pretty good amount of adjustability in there it's something like that I guess and you got a little velcro field on the back for your patches and a drag handle made out of that same hippolon I don't know how somebody tell me how you say that anyway and so that's pretty much the short and quick of it again you've got two mag pouches on either side of the cummerbund and that's about it. All right, so that's pretty much it. The last thing I wanted to touch on is that it is pretty comfortable when shouldering. You've got your rifle cut or whatever there at the top, and it's very doable. There's definitely a little bit of a learning curve, and you want to put your kit on and test it out, shake it out before the fit hits the shan. But <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's a $320 all-in kind of setup that, again, I'll say it just to be saying it, if you are a professional, if you take your LARPing extremely seriously, this is not the setup for you. Uh, what I do think this would be a great setup for is maybe a family member or loved one who is totally not into this stuff at all, but you would like to have a carrier and plates for them, that this might be a great option for that. Somebody who's like never, ever going to put it on, but you would like the peace of mind of knowing that you have them protected should things go awry, might be a great option for that. Or if you're just on a super duper budget and you're wanting to get into the kit game and whatever, and you feel like something is better than nothing. It's definitely better than some like steel plate, garbage, whatever. So anyway, <laughs> that's all I got. Until next time, be easy, y'all.